Salutare, prieteni, și bine v-am găsit la primul episod al emisiunii Dinamo 7-9 din 2023. Astăzi avem alături de noi un nou sportiv legitimat la CS Dinamo, la o altă ramură decât cele cu care v-am obișnuit până acum, handbal sau fotbal. Pierre Pujol, campion european cu Franța în 2015, noul coordonator al secției de volei masculin CS Dinamo. Hello, Pierre! Salutare! Hello! Uh, how are you? Fine, I'm fine, thank you. I have to say you are the first volleyball on our show, Dinamo 7-9. We had before handball players, football players. You are new to the club, new to Romania. You have like a week here in our country. How did you? How is your time here so far? Uh, for now, it's pretty, it was pretty early because I have to, I have to, of course, find an apartment, go to practice, travel to Zalo. So it's a pretty, pretty fast time, but all is good. It's nice. You played very fast after like two or three days you came here at Zalo. How was for you? No, it was it was okay, of course, because we won the game 3-1. It was not that easy because Zalo played good the, the, the second set especially. But after we find a way to win this game, so it was pretty, pretty good for us. You played in many countries, France, your home, Germany, Italy, Poland the last time. What are expe your expectations from Romania? It's completely new for me. It, uh, So I, I'm here to work and I'm here to, 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 how can I say in English, to bring back the title to Dinamo after almost 30 years, so it's a good objective. Yeah, the last title for Dinamo for the volleyball team is back in 1995. Exactly, so it's a long time. Yeah, you, you are doing good so far, you are on the top of the league. How did you find the team, the atmosphere, the staff, the players? Oh, first of all, the team just welcomed me so well, so friendly. Even the staff, the club, everything is perfect that far from me now. So everybody is so friendly. Now we have to work. The season is really, really long, and after we're going to play the playoff. So we have a lot of work in front of us to to reach our goal to to win the title. You won the European Championship with your national team. You've won titles in Italy, in Germany. What is your motivation at your age in a new country for you? To discover different people, different culture. I think when you have a chance to. The volleyball is your work, it's like a big chance, so for me, if I have a chance to play more and more, I will keep going. What uh, did you know about Romania before coming here? I played against many Romanian players in Italy or in France. And then about the culture, is like, I didn't know not so much, to be, to be honest, because uh, about volleyball, Romania for now is not like a big country, like for example, Poland or Italy. But the people are so friendly, I know they love sports, Especially football, handball, and I hope they're going to love volleyball much and much every after day. After day. Uh, did you play here before, maybe in a European game? To be honest, I don't remember about everything because I played since 20 years, but uh, I think I didn't have a chance to play in uh, Romania for now. Who convinced you to sign for Dinamo? Oh, I have a long discussion with uh, Adi Guntario. It was like pretty, pretty clear. He presented me the project of Dynamo, the, the, the biggest project of the club, not only volleyball, uh, the expectative for the future for volleyball to win the title, to reach Champions League. Um, then I spoke, of course, with the coach and uh, even Stelio Mukulescu, a coach, famous coach in volleyball, which I worked before in Germany, uh, finished to convince me. Uh, we have another French player here, but at the handball team, Cedric Sorendo. He won the Olympics with France, the World Championship. Did you know him? Did you talk to him before signing for Dynamo? No, I don't know him personally. Of course, I know him because in France he's kind of a legend. He won everything. So I cannot wait to meet him at practice and probably I'm going to text him to, to have some dinner together. Uh, probably it's early to say. You've played already a game at Zalo, as you said and as I said. How is the level? From what did you think? I cannot tell you honestly because, uh, as we said, I'm here since one week. I didn't watch many games. I know it's playing, it's playing. Level is pre pretty good, pretty good. So we have a lot of work. Did you have any knowledge about uh, Romanian teams, Arcada Galati, Steaua, Dinamo before? Uh, I watched Galati played against uh, Piacenza. I played in Piacenza last year, so I watched the game last week. They play pretty good. It's a great opponent. It will be difficult against them. So that's the only team I know. Uh, you are here for six months, from what I know. Do yeah. you think you can stay even longer? Of course, it's a project we discussed with uh, Adi. First of all, I'm here to try to win the title, to bring back the title in uh, Dynamo after a long time. And after, if we did this, why not? Is this the main objecti objective of the team right now? 
Uh, last year they won the cup, so of course it's well playing maximum to win the cup again. But the, the biggest target for this year is uh, the league. You are playing on Sunday against Arcada Galatz. They won the title for four years in a row. How do you see this game? They are favorites. It's a really good team. They are used to win, and you know it's important to to be used to win. Can make the difference at the end. But uh, for now we are first in the league. We're going to fight. We're going to try, and we will see at the end. What uh, did you find here? And I'm talking about uh, conditions, about training, uh, about facilities in general. Perfect. As I told you already, it's perfect. We have physio, we have doctor, my apartment is perfect, close to the gym, so everything is perfect. Uh, did you know anything about uh, Romania as a country before coming here? Maybe some stereotypes or good things or bad things? Oh, in, in school, I studied a little bit about uh, the Romanian in the past, so I knew many things, but to, be, to speak about, I think we have to sit and we have to speak. <laughs> As you may know or not, uh, Bucharest used to be called the Little Paris, you know? Yeah, yeah, I knew, I knew that before and we spoke a lot about, Eddie, about this with Eddie. I already see the small Arc de Triomphe yesterday, so pretty nice. I hope I have a chance to see more of Bucharest. Except the Arc of the uh, Arc de Triomphe, uh, did you manage to see other places? For no, no. <laughs> Nothing. How did you feel uh, your teammates? You said they had a good welcome for you. Did they know about you or they were intimidated by you and your career maybe? No, 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 I don't think so. They are really friendly, they welcome me so warmly. Um, you know, we are all players of volleyball and we have all the same objective to win this league. So now it's time to work and uh, we have to meet more to, to find a good relation inside and outside the court. But for now it's so nice. What is your motivation at your age coming to a fifth uh, European country after winning so many titles, like I said, in other countries? Well, you know, when we have a chance to... Volleyball is my passion. It's like what I love to do most in my life. So if I have a chance to keep going playing till my body wants me to play, I will keep going. It's a chance. Did you Google uh, Dynamo on the internet before coming here? Of course, I check. I check. And what did you find? A lot of story. It's so long because Dynamo has a long story as an omnisport club. So many, many things. Did you know about the football team, the supporters? Yes, they are pretty warm. Uh, do you have a message for Dynamo supporters? Cannot wait to see them on Sunday. I hope they're going to come here at the gym because like, we will need them, of course. And uh, yeah, it will be cool. One last question. Do you think you can break the curse of the 27 years Dynamo hasn't won the title? I'm here for that. The only thing I can say is like I will work harder and harder every day with my friend, with the team, and uh, we will try.